Group 15, new Japanese star Naoki Oi caused quite a stir with his opening win over Australian Greg Jenkins. Former world champion Chao Fong Pang had a hard-fought 9-7 win over Turkey's Muyat Ayas. The winner would make the last 64. The loser would face a shootout with Johnny Archer. We pick up the action with Oi leading 4-3. This is Rack 8. Looks like now Yuki Oi has fired a, bl a blank here off the break. Indeed. Uh, several balls headed toward pockets, but none of them made it to the final goal. And so we get once again to watch Chow. Got an easy shot on the one, a simple shot on the two. Looks like the key shot here is getting two to the three. The three is in a tough spot. Actually, it's available in either pocket, so it should still be okay. Yeah. Interesting decision there, but it's actually turned out pretty good. He just has to dribble this cue ball forward as he takes the blue two into the side pocket. Yes, he does have to really watch his speed now because he still has to be able to develop a shot on the four ball. Well I'm sure he's happy with this effort now the four ball has several pockets open to him that as long as he stays down below it he can reach. Oh he's gone above it. Well why not. Control. He's straight in. He'd rather be anything but straight in, but he can. It's not a big problem because of where the six ball lies. The six ball actually has six pockets available to it. So. As long as he doesn't get on the 50 yard line, he'll be fine. Boy, anxious to get back to the table. Chow determined to tie this match up. Chow keeping it simple, taking the longer shot on to the seven. You know, in all the years I've watched Chow, the only weakness I've seen at all is that sometimes he takes easy shots for granted and he'll miss those and stand at the table utterly dismayed. Doubt if he'll be taking any shot for granted this week, but with such a quality field. Well, he feels he's overdue for another title. There goes the nine ball, Chao Fong Pan. Has knotted things up at four with a nine ball run out. This is the 2007 Philippines World Pool Championship. Some very nice play here from Chow, as we always see from Chow. One of the greats. His name belongs up there with all of the rest of the world champions that we've had in the past. Rack nine, Chow Fong Pang to break for Rags each. Sometime I would love to see a tournament of like the last 10 world champions all in one room. And Chow has suffered a dry break. Not that he's left anything. 
Well, this TV table has been breaking pretty easily over the past couple of days, but back-to-back -back dry breaks here. We electing to go for a lot of distance. No. And leaving a different difficult queuing job as well. I imagine he's going to get this one back. Very difficult to queue with the up with another object ball right behind the white and not surprisingly. Chow does not give this shot a second glance. You can only do the push out after the break. You can put the cue ball anywhere. The incoming player can accept the shot or give it back. Well, you would have expected him to return that gift. Aggressive shot there by Oi. He tried to make that one ball. It's no good, and he's left a makeable shot here for Chow. He was very close to leaving a safety. But instead, Chow's got everything he needs to put slice this one ball into the corner pocket. He's got some work to do, though. From the way he's moving around the table, it appears he is going to choose to play a safety instead because he doesn't like his odds of getting on that two ball. Trying to put the cue ball behind the eight. Or perhaps it's the one that he's going to send behind the eight. He's still deciding. Went for the cue ball behind the eight. Didn't get there, but I, well, he's not happy at all with the shot. Maybe he's left an alley. He's got high standards. But uh, that's right, he's covered. He's covered Oi. Oi's looking at a kick. Is he? Yes, he is. Checked it. Nearly scratched. One ball on the three. Wow. Just what Chow wanted. Now does the one pass. Yes. There's the kick. But no result. This is close. I think the one will just ease in, though. Yeah, he can come off the face of the pocket. My the thing I'm wondering is, he, is he going to choose to break up the 9-7, or will he leave it alone? Jerry, that's an illustration of how small these pockets are. Yes, it is. Two balls will not fit there. Well, he's left it alone. He's left that uh, alone. I think he was playing for the two lower right, and his speed control has betrayed him again. I'll be honest with you, that shot sounded funny. I think he miscued a little bit. Oh. He's not doing any, he's not looking at his cue at all, though. Oh, the two passes into the side pocket, but it's a, it's a thin, it's a dicey little cut. Good shot. That is a good yes, shot. Yes, it is. Well, he didn't go for the break there. like the seven does pass lower left corner. Well, 
Chow continuing on his journey. He must be comfortable with the fact that the seven ball passes into the corner pocket. Reasserting that fact. Follow this through. Yes, he, he may see if he can get away with that. Oh boy, getting away with that, nudging that nine ball. <laughs> Chow about to finish this rack off. We'll need to hit this with a little bit of authority. Oh boy, that is. Ooh, that's not from the top drawer there. No, that's not. A very displeased Chow. Maybe he was better served hitting that one with top left English going forward. Still a makeable shot, but players really don't like taking these on. Oh, is he going to bank? No, I think he's going to take it into the side. For safety purposes, he takes it into the side. Yes, because he'll, he'll wind up with a lot of distance. Oh. oh, unless the nine ball catches the nose of the side pocket, in which case, Boy has a virtually straight in shot to the side pocket to gain the lead. Will that miss nine be costly for Shao? Find out when we come back. Welcome back to the Whirlpool Championship here in Manila. Oi is just ahead, 5-4 up against Chow, rack and this 10. is Rack Take 10. Break, leading by Two five powerful cueist putting on a marvelous display for us. Basically, if this Chow started off like a house on fire, taking a 3 nil lead, and then Oi ran, well, didn't ran, run four racks in a row, but won. Four racks on the trot. Three of them were break and run outs to go 4 3 ahead. Then at 4 5 down, at 4 all rather, Chow missing a nine, in, a nine ball into the side pocket. And so Oi back on the table with a 5 4 lead. And the shot on the one. No. No, he had a dry break. He has break. a dry break. That's, that's the second dry break in a row for Oi, and that's the third one in a row overall. Yeah. Well, the two. The table's getting tougher. And this is a tough little shot. He's got to come from one end of the table all the way down to the other for the two ball, and he's not going to get there. Uh oh. Hard up against the seven. Or is it hard up again? Yes, it is. Well, too hard for him to get to the two. And the four ball takes away the obvious easy kick, although he can still do a check kick where he puts a little right hand English on that cue ball. Cut down the angle that it comes off the rail. This is the fourth unforced error already for Chow. Mr. Two ball in rack number three, Mr. Four ball. Watch out. Wow. Ball shot. Ball in hand. Well, suddenly, things going awry for both players. <laughs> well, this layout of balls, this is almost like a straight pool or eight ball rack here with all these balls clustered together. Yeah, and the difficult shots come right now, getting from the three to the four and then the four to the five. He's done the first part. Six to the seven is no piece of cake either. Chow, 
Chow has four unforced errors. Oi has yet to make an unforced error, so he is very much in form. Oi now can spin out two rails for the six ball in the side pocket. I think he'll have to go around the nine and the and the seven here again. I agree. Another three rail trip. Oh, he's drawing. That. Is he really? Two, yeah. He's got to be happy with that. Just need to go right past the side pocket. Not much to get perfect shape on the eight so that he can. Allow the cue ball to bleed back down for the nine. Well, oh, now. <laughs> Do you like the way he's played this? I don't. He's made a problem for himself. He's got to watch this. He's going to he can still cut it in the side. He's okay. Well. Boy, commanding the match over Chow Fong Pang. Surprises continue to come here at the Whirlpool Championship. We've seen it all this week. Upsets, great play. And this rack proved a challenge to both players early on. But the shotgun now trying to blow Chow away. But he's still got some work to do. He came in third in the oh, this year's World Cup of Pool. If Chow is distressed, you'd never know it. Coldface killer, 40 years old. Still has a lot of good pool ahead of him at that age. Yes, he does. He's given us some memorable moments. I'll never forget in the finals, the year that he won in Cardiff, the cell phone went off in the middle of the final Rocky match. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. And he answered. Six to four. <laughs> now Yuki Oi moving over to the right side of the table. Yeah, when you've got dry breaks coming your way, it's time to make a change. Boy. That's not dry, but it scratches. Ball shot. That is just ball bad win. luck. Right there, that cue ball was jostled around. But the, he really smacked that thing. Yes, he hit it good. Ball shot. Ball but that was pretty much of a cursed break because he has left an out for Chow that he'll probably cruise right through. Balls are set up in a nice, easy pattern. Doesn't have to make the cue ball travel far. Yeah, it just has to play a, either a stop ball or a mild draw here off this blue two. And you'll have a perfect shape on the three. And this is the kind of rack that uh, Chow will want to get his spirits up after he made two unforced errors in the last two racks. Three in the corner. Cue ball go across the table for the four. Quite a lot of angle on this four, Jerry. Yes, but I'm sure he's okay. Little bottom left. Come back for the six ball. Excuse me, I said bottom. Bottom right. Left. Yeah. I meant bottom right. The, oh. the other left. Yeah. How about this? Oh, this is not good. But all he has to do really is let that cue ball bounce against the rail and come out clear of the nine ball for the seven in the side. Oh boy, he's hung it up. 
And just when Chow had the chance to draw this match very, very close, he's turned the table back over here. You can see he just drove it right into the rail. And uh, there's not a pocket there. He's three straight racks, three unforced errors for Chow Fong Pang. And his fans will not be pleased by that. Boy poised to take a handy 7 4 lead in this race to nine. World champion. And still displaying a great cheerful attitude. The man's as happy as Paris Hilton with a get out of jail free card. There's that shot into the rail. I think not all the pot not, not the pocket, all the pocket speed in the world was not gonna help him there. That was just too early into the long rail. Seven four, it's time for Chow to make a move. Rack 12, Nikioi to break, leading by seven racks to four. And a break and run out here by Ori will really put him in pole position for this match. A fortunate kick on the one ball keeps him down, excuse me, on the cue ball, keeps him down near the one. He does have a problem, however. We'll now, show it to you in a moment. Yeah. But I tell you what, it could be worse for him. Yes, it could be. Because he can bust up that cluster quite easily off the two. That five, six, and the three is pretty in a, in a great spot. Cue ball can be just about anywhere, and he can make the three. Yeah, that's what he's studying. The only thing he has to avoid there is to make certain that nothing comes between the cue ball and the three. But you're right, Bob. He can take care of the problem and will right here. He's got to land nicely. This is the big shot in the rack. He has to make certain he doesn't push one of these balls into more trouble. Like just this. Done that. Uh oh no. Nope. It's a combination. <laughs> oh he's, man. He's living a charmed life. He really is. I think a couple of millimeters short or a couple of millimeters long, and Oi would be in trouble. Instead, he has the combination and he has a, a very thin slice here on this three. Yeah, but he'll handle this without a problem. Well, there must be leprechauns in Japan because there's one on this man's shoulder. Very, very close to going on the hill. The rack has opened up. Boy taking the time to walk around the table. Check exactly his position on the eight ball. This is flawless pull from Naoyuki Oi. Not a single unforced error. The only errors is he has made are uh, early on in the match when he was unable to get out of tough snookers. This yeah, for the hill. Beautiful work. And Oi has doubled the score of the former world champion Chow. Leads Chow now eight to four. He only needs one more nine ball to fall to send this man over to the one loss side and send himself home 
knowing that he's in the final 64. Flags are waving for him. Boy, what a roll. Now Yuki Oi of Japan with four break and run outs in this match already. Oh, he needs one more. Yeah, just one more to relegate Chao Fong Pang to the loser's bracket in this group number 15. Now, all week long we've seen players get into this situation and every time they break, make a ball, and they're snookered from the lowest numbered ball. Let's see if history repeats. Powerful break. Indeed. History is not going to repeat. It sure does. This is a this is a sweet layout here for Oi. He's lucky too. That cue ball was heading towards the wrong side of the table, and it got batted back towards the center. Yeah, this is his uh, biggest problem right here, going from the one to the three, and that's not that much of a hill to climb. Yeah, you think he has to bang this one on in off the rail? Yeah, I believe he will so that he doesn't run it uh, by going forward. He could. Well, I was said he was going to possibly run into the four, but he checked that off. And he's a long way away from this three ball. And he's remember, he's got to come all the way back down table for the four. He's got to go back and forth. Hit this one with a little bit of low right hand English. Never he mind. shot right here. This is the shot. T shot. Oh, this guy's got game. Oh, Jerry. boy. This guy's got game. Yeah, he's got game, but he's got no nerves at all. Yeah. I thought Chow was the cold face killer. This guy's not cold face, but he's sure cold blooded. That was a tough shot. Lots of angle. He had to hit lots of side spin. He didn't take any more time than he'd been taking for the other shots he was shooting. He just stepped up and knocked it down. And Chao Fong Pang knows that his road to the round of 64 is going to be a little bit harder. Oh, he has overrun. And there's another hill to climb yet. The six ball has a lot of blockers around it. He's got to get to that green six ball right after this shot. Oh, he is tucking in his shirt here because he has to bet reach over another key shot coming up let's see how he handles it that needs to get in that window between the eight and nine he's got it Great he shot. sure does Great shot. a lot of distance the six balls on one end of the table the seven on the other spins around two rails taps a third Wants that away from the rail, and it is. Key statistic, I think, in this match, Jerry, unforced errors. Chao Fong Pang, four. Now Yuki Oi, zero. Makes all the difference. And we've got a new star to watch. This man, he's making a statement tonight. Break and run out number nine for Naoyuki Oi, and he is through to the round of 64. Japan's Naoyuki Oi shows his class once again and books his place in the last 64. Chao Fong Pang heads for a showdown with the scorpion, Johnny Archer. Welcome back to the Philippines Whirlpool Championship. 